Hey what's up I'm Swish for Susan and today we are going to review and configure DigiSoul HR3400 router for you which is one of the most popular router available in Amazon and Flipkart as it comes at a price of 999 only with a connection speed of 3 Mbps and maybe you will get an additional discount if you will buy it online. The best part is it comes with a lifetime warranty as per Amazon obviously there will be some term and condition but it's good you know and uh, the another best thing is it's made in india the next thing which attracts is rg45 jack or ethernet port which is compact spectral net hardware cables connection or a to fiber network and the number of service provider where it supports this routers then that is the best thing i believe so just stay connected here we will show you the router connections and of course how you can configure this router for your home or office connection so now we'll move to next phase we'll see all these things okay so here we have this is soul hr 3400 and here you can see the lights are blinking and uh, here we have options of you can see power internet four lane options next wlan and next one is uh, locking option so if we will see at the back of the router we can see that here you can find a mac address username and password which will be required when you will set up this device and yeah made in india you can see that so that is the thing now we will just move back of the router so here you can see four lan options are there you can connect four lans next one is van cable and here you can see two antennas are also available uh, for good network now we'll move to right side of the router and we'll see what we have here so at the right side you can see a power cable option is there next one is on off option next one is wps and wi-fi option and next one is reset option if you just want to reset your router so now we will move to desktop so that we can set up this device it's one of the best device i believe it's very small and uh, amazing compatibility so here we have to click on uh, the wi-fi option here you can see dizzy soul once you will connect your dizzy soul device you will have this network you have to click on connect once you will connect it with device you have to click on any browser or uh, i will click on uh, chrome because I would like to work on it so just click on chrome and here i will type uh, 192.168.2.1 and click on enter here you will have username and the password password will be 1234 as i mentioned uh, it is mentioned in back side of router here i will click on setup and setup you will have options like uh, automatic and manual Automatic is very simple thing. You can click on next access and it will simply just set up for you. Here we are going to click on manual and in manual we have some options like DHCP client. But here we are going to use a P P P O E F your internet service provider provided you a username and password. So you have to provide just mention here the username and the password which is provided by your ISP internet service provider whether you're using Acnect or Tikona or any other internet service provider they will provide this for you to you basically so here we have some other option which we are not going to use we will just scroll down here option Mac 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 we are not going to do anything we will simply click on apply uh, the changes that's it we are going to do okay so ding ding Now we'll click on wireless In uh, wireless we will find some other options like mode let it be AP it's okay it's good uh, next option is uh, name and SSID just mention the name which you want to be reflected by your Wi-Fi uh, here I'm going to give it the name of exploring so this is the name which will be just uh, reflect when you will switch on your router so that you can connect with the router and uh, you can enjoy your internet here we have option of modes uh, just select the last one this is a 02.1 bg and it's supported by most of the devices so it's good to select this one 
now uh, another option will be the security option so uh, I will prefer you I will just suggest you to just uh, choose option of WPAPSK that is the most secure uh, Wi-Fi mechanism and now you have to provide the password so that you can connect to your Wi-Fi and just click on apply and uh, you have to click on apply again once it will redirect back to you the same page just see the change just see the things and uh, click again on the apply once you will apply it will just take you out of the network because you have changed the network name as well as the password because you have set up your router now you have to click again on Wi-Fi option here you will find exploding wow here we have so now we can connect with our network click on connect and it will not let us to be connected with the network because it has stored the previous things settings so we have to uh, just click on uh, right click and click on forget so that it can uh, just forget the previous configuration now again we'll click on exploring click on connect this time we have to provide the password which we entered there in that page click on uh, next and it will set up router for you perfect so once you will connect it, you will click again and it will redirect to your uh, ISP uh, self-care page. You have to provide the username and the password. This is the mechanism which is used by most of the internet service providers to secure your internet. So whether you're using ACNAC or Tikona, you have to do that. Login option is there. So that is all. We have connected. If you have any doubt, you can connect with me. That is all. I will catch you next video. We'll discuss more about technology. Till then, goodbye.